Well, it was decision day in one of the world's most closely watched criminal trials, but just as the evidence in the Oscar Pistorius case was loaded with drama, the judge's verdict had a twist of its own. The CBC's Nala Ayed has the details. He came hoping to be vindicated, for his version of the truth to be accepted, his guilt or innocence in the hands of one woman. And after 41 days of hearings, her ruling would take some time to read out. In the early morning hours of 14 February 2013, the accused shot and killed Stienkam. Oscar Pistorius admits killing his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp, as she hid in this bathroom. Believing she was an intruder, he says he shot her through the closed door. Say yes, I shot and killed Riva Steenkamp. Prosecution painted him as a jealous, violent boyfriend who killed her during an argument. This was so because... Today, the judge declared Pistorius evasive and a very poor witness. But she dismissed dreams of the prosecutor's evidence as circumstantial. She ruled he had not planned murder, nor had he intended to kill. The state clearly has not proved beyond a reasonable doubt that the accused is guilty of premeditated murder. Sobs of relief, but it wouldn't end there. The judge said Pistorius still knew there was someone behind that door, and yet he still pulled the trigger on a weapon he'd been trained to use instead of calling police or yelling for help. So it seemed all but certain she would find him guilty of the lesser charge of culpable homicide. I am of the view that the accused acted too hastily and used excessive force. But then a cliffhanger when she abruptly adjourned the hearing until tomorrow. Steenkamp's mother said she'd already forgiven him. I've got no revengeful feelings, and I've forgiven Oscar for what he's done. But, I mean, he has m killed her. And even if he made a mistake, it's a huge mistake. It's cost her her life. Murderer he is not, but Pistorius may still end up convicted of a crime that could land him in prison for a decade or more. A tragic story still to be continued. Peter. Nala's in London tonight. Thanks, Nala.